Hello. So today we are talking about aesthetic, uh, aesthetically pleasing Pinterest boards and Tumblr and writing and all the things. So if you haven't seen my first video on character aesthetic boards, go check that out because then you can make one and you'll get way more out of this than if you didn't. Um, if you have already seen that, today we're talking about turning that board into this, which is uh, like a mood board on Tumblr, and it's just a more condensed version of this, so that you don't have so many pictures, you can kind of just get a sense of what it looks like from one post on Tumblr. Plus, it's a good way to share on Tumblr and get lots of likes, because everybody loves aesthetic boards. So, um, I have been keeping up with these for probably about a year now, and there's just a bunch of different kinds out there. You can kind of do it for, like, a whole novel, kind of like this one, where you have just, like, a whole feeling about the novel. You can do it about, like, a certain type of thing, like a, like a theme or a scene. Um, you can also do it for characters. Um, these are for Carry On, and they're really cool. Um, or you can do it for... Hogwarts houses because literally everybody does that but it kind of just depends on what you're looking for and what you want to make but you can do it for almost any aspect of books or movies or tv shows or anything like that it's also really helpful for writing so I did a bunch of these back when I was working on my last work in project and um work in progress wow and so as you can tell they're really cool and once you learn how to make them it is just super aesthetically pleasing to look at and you're just going to want to make so many of them and that's kind of what I did here but um, you are here to learn how to make them. So how do you do that? First, obviously, you've got to make a Pinterest board. I mean, I guess you don't have to, but I think it's easier that way because you can see kind of the aesthetic you're going for, and then you can work from there and turn it into a smaller board. Um, so obviously, you know how to do it because I made a video about it. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you my process. Um, I use PicMonkey to make mine just because it's easier and I, I didn't have Photoshop in the past so it's I know how to do it on there. Um, if you do know how to do it on Photoshop, like it's cool, you just kind of got to make a collage. Um, it's probably not that difficult, you can do that if you want, but for this tutorial I will be using PicMonkey. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> um, so the first thing you want to do after you've made a board and you have all this stuff you're going to want to start saving pictures that you think would work well for this mood board. I usually have mood boards with eight photos just because I think it's a healthy amount where you can finally really see where everything goes. Um, for example, this one, it just gives a nice look to it and I really like that. Most people have two across and then, you know, a lot going down. It just depends on what you want to go for. Um, everybody does them a little bit differently. I just seem most satisfied with eight, um, but you know, you do you, boo. Whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, so first things first, you're going to want to save images. And when I pick images to save, I usually start by picking out faces. And so I'm like, well, I know I want to save this because it's one of my main characters. And so you kind of just, you know, save as. And I usually just stick to a letter and then a number so I can keep track of which one I'm working on. But, you know, you do you. Whatever you want to do, man. For this one, I think I'm going to try and do um, a board for, like, the whole feeling of my novel, if that makes sense. And so it's more than just, like, characters. It's, like, how do I feel when I think about this whole novel? Like, what... What makes me think of this whole novel? And when you do that, you can kind of do colors. You want to do some words, at least in my experience. I like it when I have a couple like posts like this where it's like the words. Um, I like to have characters. I like to have texture. I like to have things that just make me think of my novel. You know, sometimes it can be like nature-y things. Or if you're doing a city, you could do like a landscape of a city. That would be called a cityscape. You are correct about that, Jenna. Um, you can do colors, you can do more people, you can do all kinds of things, really anything you wanna do. Um, when I'm saving images, I kinda save more than eight because I found that when you go to the actual process of making it, you're, you're not gonna be happy the first time you make it. If you get really lucky, you may be happy, but oftentimes I find that some of it just doesn't sit right with me, and so I wanna do uh, some more and just change things and make it look better. 
kind of like a rough draft of a novel. <laughs> you don't get it right on the first time. So yeah, it's really just a lot of like saving things and hoping everything is going to work and you don't know if it will, but hopefully it does. And so yeah, it's just a lot of like trying things out and seeing what works and what doesn't. And this is the boring part where you're like, oh, I hope this works. I think this is good. I'm not really sure. Who knows? But you gotta do this before you can get to the actual putting together of things. You also want to be careful not to go too overboard when you're saving things because you'll come to find that you like a lot of the things that you saved and then you won't be able to do anything with them. So be careful. And try and even out your negative space and positive space. If you did not take an art class as a child or a teenager, um, basically you just want to have some things with a lot of details and a lot of stuff and sometimes you just want to have like a blank outline kind of like that if that makes sense. So I have about 12 things saved. I'm going to go ahead and go over to PicMonkey. If you go to collage, it's going to ask you to pick some photos to upload. And so I will go down to my Y and I can already tell I don't know if I'm going to like this, but you know, we'll just work on it and see if it looks okay. So when you open it, um, the first thing I do is I change the dimensions. And if I remember correctly, it's 600 and then um, 1280 I believe yeah so this means it's gonna look like a rectangle and that's kind of the size that I'm going for and I figured out that you don't don't touch any of these boxes <laughs> just drag things into them and it's it'll eventually make up its own little section so if you go like that um, you're gonna want to add two extra boxes on that side and uh, then put that on top so I'm kind of like getting to see what it looks like and you bring some more over here and just, you know, keep adding until you have eight little slots. Unless you want to keep going because you can do more, but I've found that this is generally the way I do things. And again, I can tell I already am missing some colors because this does not feel perfect to me yet. So if you go to this thing over here drag down your spacing. Some people like to use spacing, but I find when I'm making the Tumblr ones, I don't really like the spacing. Um, yeah, so then you just kind of want to play around with things and see how your colors work and if you like everything the way it is. Um, I can see that I'm missing a little bit of blue and I want a little bit more of blue and purple for this. So if you go over and I'm going to save some more just so that I can. Um, what do I want to save that's blue? Uh, oh, I don't really have that many words, so I kind of think I'm going to save this one. This is a good one. We'll go up here, open photos if you need to add more, open from your computer, and it's all the way at the bottom. And then, where shall I put this? I kind of want to do it right here. Yeah, that's looking a little bit better. I don't think I'm completely satisfied with it yet, but we're getting closer. Maybe if I switch these two, it'll look a little better. Okay, and I'm gonna go like this. Yeah. It's a lot of just playing around with things and hoping it looks okay. I actually kind of like this. I think this looks cool. This is kind of like what I'm going for. Um, so you want to make sure that you even out, like, this is all negative space, this orange spot. And so you kind of want to even it out with a bunch of positive space like this so it's really filled up and you get a lot of detail in that. I try not to keep my wordy stuff too close together because I like it evenly spaced. I don't like to put faces next to each other because I like having that evenly spaced. Um, and really, it just depends on you and what you're going for. But I think I maybe like this. I think this is kind of 
what my novel would look like. If I could describe it to you, it would look like this, you know. Um, you have no idea what my novel is about, but you can make your guesses if you want. So when you're kind of satisfied with what you got, um, you're welcome to fiddle around with things more and more or save multiple copies because I do that too. But go up here to save and it's going to ask you to name it. And so I will say Yara and Umi. I usually save it as Pierce because it's a good like medium file size and you don't need to be too high quality on these if you're just keeping them for yourself. And then you click save to my computer and then it saves and then you can go and look at your creation and where did it there it is so if we open it up in preview obviously it's gonna be different if you have a PC but this is what it looks like this is my beautiful creation and it's really cool and now I can go post it on tumblr if I want or I can share it with a bunch of people or share it with your best friend or put it on Pinterest or anything like that but now you kind of have a good sense of like okay this is the feeling of my novel this is what I'm going for this is what my character is like etc um, yeah so hopefully this helped and hopefully you get to make some really cool uh, tumblr mood boards if you want to tag me or anything on tumblr I'm living as a ghost and I would love to see your work if you make it so yes thank you so much for watching and uh, keep writing keep plotting thanks bye